All right, guys, I'm back with part two of our Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Booster Box. We have 18 packs to go. Uh, the first half was, I thought, a little disappointing. I thought that we could have seen a little bit, um, maybe a few more Ultra Rares or some more Prism cards, but um, that probably just means that this, pa this half is going to be even better. So let's hope for that, and let's go ahead and get started. Let me know in the comment section if you guys... Uh, like this art that my wife made for me. It's the Shining Gyarados. And then there's like a fisherman and uh, he was just out there trying to catch some Magikarp and the Shining Gyarados came out and spooked him. And I think it's a really good, uh, really, really good fan art. All right, and it actually turned dark outside in between these videos, so I had to turn all the lights on. We have a Murkrow, a Magnemite, a Snover, a Glammeow, a Drifloon, a Drapion Reverse, pretty cool, a Shaman, a Lightning Energy, a Gumshoes, a Shieldon, a Lopany, and Code Card for you guys. Now, like I said in the first video, I'd really like to get a, uh, a Glaceon um, GX card. That probably be like one of the ones to get in here because they're some of the more valuable cards in the set. All right, so we have a Sneasel, a Magnemite, looking all happy there, a Cherubi, a Baneri, a Hippopotamus, an Electabuzz Reverse, a super cool, a Bastia Down, which oh is a Hollow card, so that's cool. I almost missed that. Nice pull. We have a Psychic Energy, a Honchcrow, a Lopany, a Turtonator, and the Code Card. I don't mind getting holographic cards, guys. It's what we grew up with. All right, next pack with Giratina on the front. Trying to get through this part because I actually have to go to work pretty soon here. Working the night shifts, guys. Working the night shifts. We got a real Lou, a Krogunk, an Eevee, a Alolan Vulpix. So they are playing in the snow again. Alolan Diglett, a Looker Whistle Reverse. Ooh, a Savali GX. Man, that's a pretty cool card. I'm not really sure what that Pokemon is. That's a pretty cool looking card, guys. Definitely don't mind getting these ultra rainbowy GX cards. All right, we got a Fire Type Energy, an Alolan Dugtrio, an Ancient Crystal, a Cherim, and the Code Card. Mm hmm. All right, got the next pack here. <clears throat> All right, right off the top, we have a cute little Baneri. Looks like she's ready to go to prom or something. We have a Hippopotamus, a Passimian, a Shinx, a Carnivine, a Bastiodon, which was a reverse, a rare reverse hollow, and a Bama Snow, <laughs> a Grass Type Energy, an Order Pad, a Monferno, an Unidentified Fossil, which kind of reminds me of the um, the fossil cards from the fossil set from like a long time ago. We have the Code Card. All right, rolling through these guys, rolling through them. I would really like to get a uh, a secret rare trainer. Wow, this pack is like sticking to that card almost. That was weird. Um, secret rares, obviously, would be really cool. We have a Scorpy, a Stunky, a Young Goose. A Magmar, always really liked Magmar. I think I have a Magmar EX from one of the old sets in my collection somewhere. I have an Alolan Diglett, 
a Lucario Reverse, an Araquanid, interesting, a Fighting Type Energy, a Lily Trainer, a Magneton, a Spirit Tomb, and the Code Card. I'd like to get one more, um, at least one more Prism card too. Two would be preferred. I know that you can get like up to three in these boxes, so. Ooh, got a lick -a tongue on the front. I've always really liked lick -a tongue Although, you know what? I think Miltank is very similar to lick -a tongue and I like Miltank better than lick -a tongue but Lickitung reminds me of um, an old game I used to play on Nintendo 64, I think, and you used to sit around like a sushi table and you played a Lickitung and you would just eat as much sushi as possible and make like a bunch of points. I think there was even like golden sushi bowls and like ones that were on fire and if you ate those ones, your Lickitung would like run around and you'd lose points. It's kind of an, a really fun game. We have a Lickitung, a Buizel, an Eevee, a Salandit, a Turtwig, Ooh, there we go, guys. A Solgaleo Prism card. That is pretty cool. That is a pretty cool card, guys. Put that to the side. Oh, right, we have a Fan Rotom. I don't think I have that one yet. We have a Fairy Type Energy, a Luxio, a Looker, a Shield on, and Code Card. So that was a really good pull, guys. I, I'm really enjoying the Prism cards. I think they're really cool. I really used to like the Break cards, too. And uh, when they used to put the Break cards in the Reverse Hollow slot, I thought those cards looked really cool, but they were pretty... Um, they were cheap cards. Like, the value of them just wasn't there. We have a Magmar, a Alolan Diglett, a Sneasel, a Magnemite, a Cheruby, a Yongoose Reverse, an Alolan Executor, which is, I mean, it's not hollow, but I really like that card. It's pretty cool. We have a Darkness Type Energy, an Oranguru, a Missing Clover Trainer, a Manaphy, and a Code Card. The Elusive Code Card. I know you guys are looking forward to seeing those. All right, we have our next pack here. Oh. All right, we have a Lolan Sandshrew, a Lolan Vulpix, a Bronzor, a Dupider, which is, I hate, I do not like this card at all. It's like a nasty little spider. Disgusting. A Piplup, a, another Piplup in reverse holo form. Cute little guy. Ooh, a Dialga GX, or a Dialga, sorry about that. Dialga GX. That's a nice card. I like the um, like the little hollow veins throughout the card. That's pretty cool. All right, good pull. We have a Psychic Type Energy, a Pal Pad, a Spirit Tomb, a Gum Shoes, and Code Card. I'd love to get a uh, Rainbow Rare out of here too. I don't really have a preference on which one. All right, next pack. All right, we have a Glammeow. Drifloon, a Morlo, a Cosmog, an Execute, a Shield on Reverse, a Wash Rotom, another non hollow Rotom, a Grass Type Energy, a Prinplup, a Pokemon Fan Club, a Craniodos, and code card. We're rolling through these guys, just steaming right along. I think we only got about seven or eight packs left. We got Leafy on the front. Do do do. Oh, another one of those nasty little dupiders. A Piplup, a Scorpy, a Stunky, a Young Goose, a Grottle Reverse, a Shaman Hollow. So that's cute. We have a metal type energy, hmm. a magneton, an orangaroo, a driftblim, 
and the code card. My cat was just over here playing with some of the wrappers on the floor. You know how cats are. It's doing their thing. Alright, let's get into here. We have a Roselia on the front, which I've been catching a lot in Pokemon Go recently. Alright, Roselia, like I said. We have a Gibble, an Electabuzz, a Chimchar, a Pachirisu, a Palpad Reverse Trainer. We have a Roserade, which is a non hollow a Water-type Energy, a Drifblim, Gabite, Looker Whistle, and Code Card. We're dwindling down to our last few packs, guys. I'd like a few more, if possible, just like a, a Rainbow Rare, something really special, you know? Something really special, just be like, wow, that was super worth the box. But we'll see what happens. All right, we have a Shinx, a Carnivine, a Murkrow, a Magnemite, a Snover, a Bronzong, Reverse, an Electivire Non-Hollow, I like that card, a Lightning-type Energy, an Alolan Dugtrio with the hair again, I don't know, what's up with the hair? I don't understand. An Escape Board, Cherim, and, of course, the Code Card. I think we only got about five packs left. Let's get through. Looking for that rainbow rare. Looking for that rainbow rare. Let's go, yeah. All right. Chimchar. Pachirisu. Alolan Sandshrew. Alolan Vulpix. I feel like we've done that a few times. We have a Bronzor. A Honchcrow Reverse. A Napoleon Non-Hollow. A fire type energy, a perugly, a unit energy, a rotom, and the code card. We got five packs left. Five packs left. I feel like we're running out of chances for that rainbow rare. Sad day. Sad day for America. Alright. Buizel. A Riolu, a Gibble, a Krogunk, a Turtwig, another Gibble in Reverse Hollow. We have a Shinodic, non hollow, a um, Fighting Type Energy, a Yan Mega, a Volkner, a Craniados, and the Code Card. Only four packs left. Got another Giratina on the front. Got a Magnemite, a Cherubi, a Baneri, a Hippopotamus, a Pessimian, a Reverse Hollow Krogunk, ooh, a Magmortar Hollow, that's nice. That's pretty nice, Magmortar Hollow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We've got a Metal Type Energy. A Bronzong, a Fire me Memory card, a Grottle, and the Code card. Only three packs left. Only three left. Let me know if you guys are, uh, if you guys got any Ultra Prism a little early, and if you guys are getting good pulls too. Let's see how I'm stacking up. We got to have a Krogunk. A Turtwig, a Roselia, a Gibble, an Electabuzz, a Reverse Hollow Frost Rotom. I know that's a rare. That's pretty cool. Oh, we have a Holographic Rampardo, so that's a really nice pack, actually. Having a rare Reverse and a rare Hollow card in one pack, that's nice. We have a Darkness Type Energy, a Gardenia Trainer. A Gabite, a Manaphy, and Code Card. Alright, we only got two packs left. Sad day. Sad day. 
Man, these packs are like, I don't know, for some reason kind of like just sticking to the cards. Not like sticky, just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. All right, we have a Morlol, a Piplup, a Salandin, a Yanma, a Drifloon, a Super Boost Energy Prism card. That's really nice. There's that third Prism card I was looking for, and I think this is, might be one of the better ones, too. That's really nice. Hmm. Very cool. All right, we have a Magirna non-hollow, a fire type energy, a Skuntank, a Cynthia, a Cosmo, and code card. All right, guys, we're on our last pack. Would love a rainbow rare out of here, but I don't think it's going to happen at this point. Which is maybe a little disappointing. I feel like my uh, my booster box wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be, but. Now it's just a chance you take when you buy stuff like this. Okay, we have a Stunky, a Yongoose, a Magmar, a Lolan Diglett, a Sneasel, a Reverse Toxicroak, a Garchomp, non hollow rare, a Fairy type energy, a Bronzong, a Missing Clover. A print plot and the last code card and I wanted to read the back of this box for you guys um, I was gonna do that earlier and I forgot so I'm just gonna read it, it says an unknown new dimension pass through the ultra wormhole into a bizarre new Pokemon world where familiar sights become strange and new powers are unlocked Watch Necrozma's power grow and marvel as brand new Prism cards reveal their astounding effects on play. Meet Dialga GX and Palkia GX and encounter bizarre Ultra Beasts and wild new forms of Alola's legendary Pokemon. Explore a new dimension in the Pokemon TCG, Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Expansion. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, I'm going to do a last recount of the uh, rare cards that we pulled. I'll be right back with that. All right, guys, I'm back. So we did extremely well with the reverse hollows. Not exactly where I wanted my luck to be in this video, but yeah, we did really good. We got 10 of them. There's a Drapion, a Bastiodon, a Lucario, a Toxicroak, a Napoleon, a Heatran, a Weavile, and we have a Shaman, oh, and a Salazzle, and a Frost Rotom. Oh, geez. Okay. And we got five holographic cards, Magmortar probably being my favorite one, a Shaman, a Ramparados, a Magnazone, and a Cresselia. We got three Prism cards in Super Boost Energy. I like that one. Sogaleo, I like that too and a Cyrus. We got one Dialga GX, one Savali GX, one Leafeon GX, and we got one Full Art Palkia GX. So like I said guys, the pools, I don't know, maybe I was a little disappointed with the pools in this booster box, but nonetheless, I still really enjoyed myself and I hope you guys had a great time. And I'll see you again next time on Just Collects. Thanks for watching. Bye.